Hey YouTube, this is my first Wii U video. We're going to be looking at some of the new features in the latest update because according to the release notes, it's pretty cool. First thing is you can get software and demos from Nintendo uh, Spot Pass, which is their online service where they just drop stuff onto your console. I'll say yes for now. Um, one of the cool features that, they, I didn't tell you, that they, uh, I didn't tell you about yet is they added USB keyboard support, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's for Wii U and Wii uh, games. Now let's take a look at the other one. I currently have a disc in here for the Wii. Now, as you've probably known if you already own one, as soon as you click on Wii Mode, this tablet becomes completely useless. So, I'll say it says point a remote at TV, and look at this, look at this. What? Wii TV and gamepad. This actually gives you the option to actually, to actually um, play it using your gamepad as a TV. So let's go ahead and try it out. I got my Wiimote now right here. You have to point at TV. Let's say TV and gamepad. Boom. Alright, stand the gamepad up on a flat surface and use it three feet away. Let's go take a look. Turn off this monitor, it's a little bit distracting. And yes, I actually have a PC over here. I'm a, mainly a PC gamer now, so if I can have a PC and a Wii U, all you other PC gamers don't have, really have an excuse, unless you don't like Nintendo games, which is okay. Alright, so as you can see, we got it going on both screens at the same time. Let's move this over. Press OK. And I'm not sure if this is a... Oh, and look! You can see from my camera, the Wii U uh, gamepad actually has a built-in sensor bar. That is really cool. You won't see these lighting up, but my camera can pick up infrared. So, let's go ahead and turn this off. And point it only at this... Uh, let's move the tablet over. So we don't... So we, I can show you that the sensor bar thing actually works. That was really smart on their part to build one in just in case. I guess they were playing this feature but didn't have it working quite yet. <clears throat> Alright. We're going to try to play some Mario Kart. And... Oh, there's a window behind me so it's messing up the sensor bar. And as you can see, the sound's actually coming out of it. Excuse my bad sensitivity. Like I said, window. The sun is a big infrared source, so it actually can mess up sensor bars, as you know, probably know if you have a Wii. But yeah, you actually played a full game off the tablet. I'm pretty sure the tablet doesn't actually work as a controller, so you'll still need Wii modes. But it's cool just to have like an extra TV. This is, I'd say this is probably a big enough reason for some Wii users to upgrade. I mean, you'll be able to play all your current Wii games off TV. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Okay, yeah, it just says Wii software cannot be controlled that way, so let's go ahead and press A. I don't have any save files. I don't have any Miis either, <laughs> I haven't played the Wii version. But yeah, this is actually really cool. You can actually control it just like you would with a normal TV. It has a built-in sensor bar, so you don't need to carry that around. And um, the, if I remember correctly, the Wii gamepad is actually a little bit higher than standard definition uh, widescreen. So you should be able to play your games in the exact same quality that they were on your old TV. But it should look a tiny bit better. Because you got a few more pixels to work with. Of course, the screen is smaller, but... Let's say you, you want to play like Xbox or whatever, and your little brother wants to play a Wii game still <laughs> from all those years ago. You can go ahead and let him play on a tablet, and you can play on the cons on the using a TV. So this is a really really big selling point, in my opinion. I mean, if you're figure playing on getting a Wii U anyway, you might as well get one now. I mean, there's the price drop. There's still the Zelda edition. You she can't really see the detail of except maybe right there. And you can play all your Wii games on there. So again, really really awesome. The only drawback is, as you probably know, no GameCube controller support or GameCube game support, so. But otherwise, it works just fine, so. And menus work. So yeah, this is a pretty awesome update on Nintendo's part. It's completely free, of course. Um, I'm, I'm pretty bad at this game, but 
As you can see, it's really, really awesome. Um, I'm not sure if you can play it without using a TV at all, like if it's not plugged in, but you should be able to. So, basically all you need is a gamepad and a Wiimote, and you're good to go. So, alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and check out some of my other stuff. I have a gaming channel I'll try to have a link to also. Um, yeah, see you all later. Bye. Oh, wait, I just forgot to mention this. A few other things let's go over. Um, they actually added an option for, like I said, USB keyboards. Um... You can, a, they enhance the friends list option, and they actually have surround sound from an external device. And a few other features. I'll have a link to um, all the updates down below, so just click that and you can read the um, official Wii update list. So, um, until my next video, check out my other stuff. If you like this video, share it with your friends. It's pretty awesome, in my opinion. So I'll see you all later. Bye.